But you, the people, certainly ought to hold your legislators accountable, and you ought to force them to hold the Bush administration accountable. And going along to get along, skinning and grinning, and going through changes and buddy budding good old boy systems and all of that, that is not the solution to this problem. Hard core accountability is what we need to be fighting for, writing for, making telephone calls for, and raising hell for, in mm -hmm. order to make sure that the people we have elected to office will stand up and be accountable. Okay? Now that had to be said. I understand that uh, local representative Pevlin Warren will now drop her concern about making our county commissioner's chair a part-time position. Now, let me remind you that if it had not been for some conscious citizens going to the courthouse, listening to the rhetoric and the game that Representative Warren wanted to pull over on the community, watching the clever maneuvers of Mayor Johnny Ford when he came up in there, partnered with her, tried to get a quick motion in to get a vote on the floor because they both were aware that the Little Texas Fire Department and all these other uh, user-friendly people were there in order to carry whatever vote they wanted to put forward. But the people didn't stand for that. The people saw that trick coming. We stepped up to the plate. We went to the courthouse and we stopped a very tragic situation from happening. And Representative Warren was using precedence what had been done so often in the past that was wrong when it was done in the past in order to try to pull over this slick maneuver for the future. But thanks to God above, and thanks to all the beautiful conscious people that was at that courthouse that night at that meeting, we've stopped that bill that would have been really detrimental to this community. You know, and that kind of situation helped me to understand why this city and why this county is in the condition that it's in today. People that you have elected, they have just gone down to Montgomery or they have gone into their offices, they have made phone calls and they have conspired with key people for special interests, and they have just concocted schemes, and they have pulled off clever maneuvers in order to do anything they want to do. And then when you stick your head up, the citizenry, to say, why did you do that? Then they throw back in your face, well, we met with a few people. We met with some people, and we discussed this with some people, and they gave the nod that it was okay. Well, suddenly, historically, they have met with the user-friendly people that they identify as being yes people who do their heads this way without any questions, and then they walk away then take whatever they want to do, make a legislative proposal out of it, and present it to the state legislator and get it en enacted into law. Now, we stopped Representative Warren, and I don't care what kind of excuse she give you about why she's not going to go forward. She's not going to go forward because we peeped a whole card and we reveal to the community what she and the rest of them was trying to do. That's why that bill is not going forward. And we're going to keep our eye on everything else that Representative Warren put in the hopper down at Montgomery, and we're going to bring it to you as fast as we, as we can find it so that you can go to other meetings and either yay or nay on what it is that she thinks she's going to do.